Well, g'day guys, quick tip number 30. Um, we're getting some new features to Blackboard Learn and we'll be getting more and more um, in the coming weeks and months. The feature I think that might most interest many people are some of those that we've become familiar with in WebCT and now the clever folk in IT services have built into Blackboard Learn as well. There are two key um, features I'll concentrate on today which are the SMS tool that allows you to send SMS messages to your students from directly within your Blackboard Learn unit and the student view tool which allows us to actually effectively be a student in our own learning materials and so we can have that student experience. Let me demonstrate both of those to you. So here I am and I'm logged into a Blackboard Learn unit. I've got um, on the left hand side my control panel and under the control panel there's this little menu which reads unit tools. Clicking on that opens it up and into this area um, the IT services team are adding increasing amount of functionality to Blackboard. So the two which I'm going to concentrate on today are this send SMS link and the student view link. Let me begin with SMS. Click on that. What has happened is it's looked in the grade center of this unit it's found all the students and it's provided those students and their mobile phone details to this web SMS tool which allows us to send messages to our students. For each um, course that you use the SMS tool from it creates a group on the left hand side you might notice them here and now then it's simply a matter of making the selection of the group of students that you wish to um, send an SMS to. In this case it's this group here it shows and displays the names of the students in the middle panel. You can then compose a message, hit the send button and immediately all of the recipients as um, gathered out of the Grade Center for this Blackboard Learn unit will receive that message. So that's a fabulous tool. I'm very excited to see it now return to Blackboard Learn. The other uh, tool which I'm also really interested to show you, just stepping back into the unit again is this student view link. So if I click on that now what indeed happens is I'm being logged out of that unit as an instructor and logged back in again now as a student. How do I know that? I've noticed that the screen has changed for me. I no longer have my control panel over the, uh, down the side so I can no longer make changes to this unit. I no longer have an edit um, function at the top, edit on off. In fact this is entirely the student experience now because indeed I've actually been logged out as the instructor and back in as a real student. Now the reason that can be really useful is that now you can experience this material in the same ways that the students do and therefore that allows you to test it. You can trial the submission of assignments or you can complete a quiz and see that it's being marked correctly. You can test things like the group's functionality. And so from this point onwards, we're really playing the role of a bona fide student and can do everything our students would be able to do, submit work, etc., etc. That work indeed will arrive in the Grade Centre, so you can even test the notion of collecting student submitted work and marking it, etc. And at any stage when you've um, completed your um, experiments and you want to return, now to view it the way the teachers see this unit, it's now got a new link on this left hand side which says teacher view, which effectively reverses what we've just done, bounces us out of that unit as a student, back in as, as an instructor, and we're ready to go ahead and continue customizing our delivery. So I'm really excited by those two tools and I'll be keeping you in the loop as more tools arrive. Expect them over the next um, weeks and months as new upgrades to Blackboard arrive at Swinburne. So I hope you enjoy that.